the project at the visionary and support vector mesh infrared anomaly detection in water distribution networks. Water intended for human consumption must not contain dangerous chemicals or gems harmful to health. Therefore, it is necessary to prevent any intrusion into the water distribution systems and to detect pollution as soon as possible, whether internationally, intentionally, or accidentally. Conventional monitoring of water quality involves the manual collection of samples for different points of water distribution networks, which are then sent to the strategical laboratories for contaminated testing. In detection of probes that should be immersed in the water sources to detect the various water quality parameters. The main objective of this project is to detect or predict water product water pollution or prevent of anomaly E. coli bacteria in water by using different algorithms of machine learning such as support vector machine decision tree algorithm and RNN algorithm. Requirements hardware requirements we need Windows operating system processor i5 and above ram 4 gb and above hard disk 20 gb and above coming to the software requirements we need python ideally 3.7 to install the version coming to the methodologies to implement this project we have designed few modules first one upload water data set using this module we will upload water data set to application second one pre-processing and normalized data set by this module we will be analyzing the data set often contains missing and non-numerical values so by applying pre-processing technique we will replace non-numerical values with the integer ids and then normalize all values by applying mean after process after pre-processing we will be dividing data set into the try and test where application is used as 80 percentage of data set to try and machine learning algorithm and 20 percentage of data set used to test the predict accuracy of trained algorithm third one run support vector machine algorithm model using this module we will be training support vector algorithm of above data set and build the support vector model this module will be applied on the test data set to calculate support vector accuracy precision and recall score fourth module run rnn algorithm Using this module, we will be training recurrent neural network algorithm with the above data set and building the RNN model. This model will be applied on the test data set to calculate RNN accuracy, precision and recall. Then fifth one, run, run decision tree algorithm. By this module, we will be training the data set with the decision tree algorithm and building the decision tree model. This model will be applied on the test data set to calculate decision tree accuracy, precision and recall score. Then sixth module accuracy comparison graph. By this, by this module we will be comparing the plot graphical representation between all the three algorithms. Seventh module predict water anomaly detection. By this module we will be uploading the test data set. Then machine learning algorithms will predict whether anomaly is present or not. Now coming to the execution. First we need to open the code file. This is the code file. And this code file consists of dataset file which contains test and training part of files and next one model file. This model file contains .h5 files and this .h5 files contains algorithm information which are loaded into the project code during the runtime. Utilize, utilize the trained model for various tasks such as making prediction on the new data or performing specific operations. And this is the main code file and this is the run bad file. This run bad file instead of executing the program in command line interface, we created windows bad file to execute the project. By clicking double tab on this, it will lead into the graphical user interface which, which interacts with the user program. Now by clicking the first button, it will lead to the graph dialog box open and select the trained data set sample. Now it will be loaded and showing the samples which are found in the trained data set of the water data set and now pre-process and normalize the data set. By clicking this button it will pre-process and normalize and remove the, all the values, non-numerical values and also it will remove the null values found in the data set. And next one run support vector machine algorithm. By clicking this algorithm it will take the data set, the test data set and use the analysis of accuracy prediction and run NN, RNN algorithm. This neural network algorithm will have the approaches and the back end will have the approaches and also will have the drop at, uh, dropouts, layers and uh, neurons. This combination of all the neural network algorithms which will be predicting the accuracy level and loader in the back console 
and it will be leading to the showing the accuracy of the rnn algorithm and then decision tree algorithm by clicking this button you can lead into the accuracy prediction of decision tree algorithm based upon the test data which was we are going to train with the test data of water data set now accuracy comparison graph by clicking this button you can see the graphical representation of the three algorithms and in the x axis the label of the algorithm and in the y axis the percentage value of the accuracy score precision score recall score etc by this graph we, we can indicate that rnn algorithm is the best accuracy prediction algorithm in this project now close this file and click last button predict water anomaly detection by clicking this button you can see you can see the dialog box open and select the test data set to test the algorithm which is in the leading part of the accuracy that is rnn algorithm now open this file and you can see the samples which are found in the test data set and the it will going to predict the output so here you can see after the equal to part not no anomaly detection in water anomaly present in the water so it is based upon the trained data set with the highest accuracy with the best accuracy leading in the in this project is rnn algorithm now close this code enter file and now go to the conclusion so in this project we have we have uh, we have executed the code and in this project we have found that decision tree algorithm rnn algorithm and support vector algorithm the most and best predicted performance with the accuracy is rnn algorithm to predict the water distribution network fraudulent in this project thank you for watching video for more projects please visit our website www.trueprojects.in For updates on latest project videos please visit True Projects YouTube channel and subscribe